Beware the mid-round tight end, except we're really excited about them this year in 2021. Let's talk about Mark Andrews on FFT and 5. Adam Azer follow, uh, with Jacob Gibbs here. You can follow him at J.A. Gibbs underscore 23 at J.A. Gibbs underscore 23 on Twitter. And check out his stuff on Sportsline. He's got incredible football research for you. Okay, so Mark Andrews. First of all, this guy is really good. Tell us what, you know, the, what stats suggest how good Mark Andrews is. Well, you know, I, I love the per route stats, and they all point towards Andrews as being really one of the best tight ends we've seen in, in quite a while. Uh, in 2019, he averaged more yards per route run than any tight end other than George Kittle in the eight years that I have that data available. Um, and that really fell a little bit last year. We kind of followed Lamar Jackson's passing efficiency on the way down. But still, over the past three seasons, uh, his yards per route run is right up there with you know any tight end in the NFL. we got George Kittle at 2.9 just absolutely insane. Um, and then Darren Waller, Travis Kelsey, Mark Andrews, all right around 2.3 yards per route run. Um, and then there's a huge drop all the way to 1.8 where you see the next tight end. So he definitely belongs among the absolute best tight ends in terms of efficiency. Um, we just haven't seen him run the same type of routes that those guys run. And so he hasn't, you know, quite vaulted himself into that tier for fantasy yet. Um, but I think with more routes, we might see that happen in 2021. I'm pretty excited about it. So we're gonna. You think we'll see more routes from him? I think so. Yeah, I think it's definitely possible. Um, it's it's super speculative, but um, we saw Nick Boyle when he when he went down last year um, with a knee injury. He really opened up a lot more playing time for Andrews. And people might you know hear Nick Boyle and think, what what are we talking about here? But he really has played a he, he doesn't play a fantasy relevant role, but he's been a really important piece of Baltimore's you know run heavy approach over the past couple of seasons. And um, when he went down, Andrew's snap rate rose to 80% in weeks 10 and 11. And then he was at, he got injured, and so he it dropped down to the 60% range after that. But they don't have anyone to replace Boyle. And the most recent injury news on Boyle has not been good. It seems like he's probably going to be out at least at the beginning of the season, um, potentially longer. We don't know if they've been super you know ambiguous with it. But if, if he's out for any extended time, I think we might see Andrew's – and just in general, it's it's you know the natural trajectory of Andrew's career. He's he's played more you know snaps and run more routes each year. And if yeah, if he does you know step into a 70, 75, even eighty percent snap share, he's going to see a lot more routes. And it wasn't, it's not he didn't just step in and play more snaps and block more last year. We also saw his route involvement rate rise. Um, so he ran a route on sixty five percent of Baltimore's dropbacks before the Boyle injury, and that rate was all the way up to 84% from week 10 on. That even takes into account the games late in the season when he was a little bit uh, dinged up. And so if he can run 84% of the routes, Andrews might just go nuts in 20, in 2021. That, like, tight end one is within his range of outcomes if he gets that type of, of route rate. Yeah. Yeah, he, he really wasn't very good other than some touch, other than a good touchdown rate before the Boyle injury. And that does concern me a little bit because you do have Rashad Bateman mm -hmm. in the mix. So he was also injured. But the seasons, it's not like these guys are going to miss the whole season. But, okay, one thing that is consistent over the last two seasons, he has a very heavy red zone presence. I mean, when Mark Andrews or when Lamar Jackson's throwing in the end zone, it's oftentimes at, or sorry, in the red zone, but I'm sure the end zone too. It's mm -hmm. oftentimes at Mark Andrews. Yeah, red zone, end zone, doesn't matter. It's It's been all Mark Andrews. He leads all tight ends in red zone targets, red zone touchdowns, and end zone targets over the past two seasons, even more than Travis Kelsey. Um and among qualified players, only Devontae Adams and Mark Andrews have had a red zone target per route run rate of at least 30% in each of the past two seasons. So he's consistently been the guy for Lamar when they're in the red zone. And I don't see that changing. I am really excited about Rashad Bateman, but I don't think he's going to you know, step in and, and, and really take away from Mark Andrews in the red zone. He, he just eats down there. That's that's where, uh, where his fantasy value mostly comes from. And so if we if we do see the extension of the, the route, run rate and he and he gets more yardage to to go with the the touchdowns I, yeah i think the upside is really really high like i i prefer somebody like tj hawkinson because i think he has a much higher floor a much higher target projection but if you're just talking about ceiling i think andrews is up there with anybody at the tight end position okay so who's tight end four for you is it andrews it is uh it's hawkinson <laughs> um i have andrews just behind him and uh I, i'm just i'm so high on hawkins and i think there's a chance we get 150 targets from him, which is just something that andrews really has no chance of getting even if his route run rate does increase um 
but I, I have Andrews just behind him. If I don't get Hawkinson, I'm totally fine with Andrews as a consolation prize because, like I said, with the with the red zone raid, he could easily be a t- the tight end one. Okay, that's Jacob Gibbs. Thanks so much for listening, everybody. Make sure you go on to sportsline.com, checking out all the great content, not just from Jacob, but from our team of analysts and gambling experts as well. I'm Adam Azer, and we'll talk to you later in the week. On-